Welcome back to 628 Dirt Rooster Channel, where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. If the bees are still even here. I hope so. We're on a swarm mission this morning, this afternoon. Look at that azalea bush. Ain't nothing on it for no bees. So you don't have to wear anything? Sometimes. <laughs> depends, on, depends on how they're acting. Usually when they're swarming like this, they're as docile as they will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two foot off the ground in a bad spot. Yep. I am very curious. That's typical when they you think they're gonna be easy. They're on the base of yeah. <laughs> on the trunk of a tree. One place you don't want them to be, there they are. You want them out hanging on a limb and you can shake the limb. Yeah. And they fall off. That's not where it needs to be. This little bunch is about <laughs> almost the size of a two liter bottle, not quite. It's not, not a huge swarm. Putting them on this frame here and we're not in a place where we can shake them off, so we're going to have to transfer them a little bit at a time. Maybe by hand, I don't know. I'm going to play with them for a minute. Give me that other frame. I put lemon grass on that. I'm gonna put some of those knees on that up. Uh, Don't put a whole lot. Just, uh, just a tag. I don't know how Jeff does it, but he calls right in the middle of every swarm capture I've ever done. <laughs> I think he's got some kind of software on my phone tracking me. <laughs> Is that the bees that smell so good? No, that's some uh, lemongrass, <laughs> lemongrass oil that's on these frames. I'm using this fig leaf kind of as a glove to try to grab some. And I'm putting, putting them to the box. And they ain't wanting to stay right now, so until I get the queen in the box or the majority of the bees, we're gonna have we're gonna have them just flying right back to the to the cluster. I'm moving real, real slow, just kind of wiggling my hand, trying to break them off because they hang on to each other and they're pretty strong and now they're walking off my hand because they realize I'm pulling them off the cluster. No, they ain't liking that. Okay, they're running off my hand and they're not really going to the box. So I got a glove on. I'm just gonna start trying to grab them and move them. I'd like to get this box right up under them, but I don't think it's gonna fit because of this limb right here. Is it all right if I break a limb? Yeah, man. Maybe I can just bend it. some video from the other side of that bush over there. Already going? Uh, I don't think no, so. No. They're attaching to this side. It's recording. Okay, What's this way? Your, the camera's out there, hold it just like that. Randy's got these things hanging off a fig tree trying to get them to march in the box. And the main soldier won't get in line. <coughs> Just 
clustered up real big on the back of the box. They're getting on the box? And they a, are, yeah. yeah there's, there's more on the box back of it than, than on the tree. <laughs> That's good. Got one little odd cluster up top here. Let's not knock them down. <laughs> Get your brush. No, I don't want to make them mad. This is Sunday afternoon, and they don't like being disturbed on Sunday. They was having church, I guess. For some reason they don't like this box. I don't know what the deal is. You can't lower the box because you're sitting on the wing. Yeah. They're clustered big time on the back of the box. Well, if they'll stay on the box and I can move it away from that limb, maybe I can move them up into the box. But I, from where I'm sitting, I see, I can't see them on the box no, at all. No, you can't, but they're big time there. Is that frame just out of the freezer, fresh out of the freezer? Mm-hmm. So it's still frozen? That might be why they eat. On. Get the other corner of the box up there. Can't won't fit. Go ahead, I'll, I'll see. Go ahead. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> We're about getting there. They're starting to take the box. They're fixing that to reposition my back's about to lock up on me. We're getting there. It's been about 15 minutes fooling with them. Looks like about 90% of them's in the box. We still got little cluster of holdouts right on that base right there been about 20 minutes now we still got that one little group of holdouts there I don't think the Queens with them I think they just ain't wanting to move the fact that they were in the box and staying there gives you a pretty good indication the Queen is there yeah. the cluster starting to move down that trunk of that little tree there they're giving up their spot one hive gets worn two or three times in a year. Just slid the box out from under the bushes. I'm waiting on them to find it. Still got a lot of them airborne right now. I think we've got about 99.9% .9 of them. we got, looks like five or six just kind of floating around. We've been sitting on them for about 45 minutes, I guess. Sun's setting, so they're settling in. About to pack it up and head to the house. Had to turn this swarm loose. Come on out, get you some sunshine, use the bathroom, get some water, all that good stuff. <laughs> now I gotta check this one for a queen real quick. And this is a swarm off of my dad's yard. There's my queen on this one. So this was a, a nasty, sick nasty frame that I put in here. With these, you can still see some crusty junk over here. They've cleaned all this up, and this queen's wandering around, laying. I see eggs in the cells. I got clean, polished cells with eggs in them. She's already laying. And same with this side of the frame. See, I'm I just blew on them just a little bit. They're acting flighty like they're queenless, but they're obviously not. They've got half that frame polished up and she's starting to lay. Put that back together and leave them alone because they don't like me. And I didn't bring a smoker out.